be the plan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the plan, that's what they call me Say it again <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Big Juicy and we got a special guest on the channel today We got another podcast for you guys. Today, we're going to talk about racism in America. Yes. Yes. That's a very, you know, I feel like before this pandemic happened, um, I feel like probably about a year ago was, you know, because all the cops, like, dude, I'm telling you, like, the cop shooting um, black people for real, man, you know, it's like... Bro, so... I definitely they're trying to make it worse. Did you hear they're trying to say that black people or African Americans, whatever you want to say, are more likely to catch corona? How racist is that? I heard that too. I've seen that. Is that not racist? Stuff like that. it is, That's yeah. what I'm but saying. Also, you you know, can't like, say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's that's, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of messed up. I mean. You know? And I'm not saying, and racism isn't just black and white. Like, everyone knows that, you know. Amen. Like, there's a lot of racism just, I, mean, I, know, I, I know black people that are racist towards white. It's black people. Or and black I know people white people that are racist towards people. black people. I mean, it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, it's, it sucks. Like, why can't we all just come on? We're all here, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's terrible. It's well, terrible. so let's give them a little background where we're from. We're from a little hick-ass town. You never. I've never. I mean, I know people that have never seen a black person where we live. You really do. I really, yeah, bro. I really do. I believe it actually, because I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, before yeah, you sure. came, before you came in high school, how many black people had, were we had at our high school? We had Shayna, that was one. One. And Damien in eighth grade, some kid from. Uh, uh, Trevor, Lil T. Oh, Lil, Lil T. T. Yeah, yeah, that crackhead. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that kid. But there was not, there wasn't there wasn't any. No, so like, including it you. Really, it really was different. I definitely. Hell yeah, I experienced racism. How was it? How was it going to that school? Tell them a little bit. It was hard. It's hard being. It's hard being. And that's why I think I, I gravitated I mean, towards really you mean, because. I'm, I'm, not, I'm still black though. You know what I mean? It's like, hell yeah! But I'm proud like, to have a black friend. That's my like, best friend, man. Yeah, man. Juicy's my best friend too. Yeah, I'm just saying it's like, but it was tough in that school sometimes because. Oh yeah, because um, they racist you know, as fuck. I mean, yeah, they're a little they're racist out there for sure. I mean, we um, always had to stand up for you. Yeah, I know. It's you know like, what I'm man, saying? I was like, yeah, but um, I mean, definitely, yeah, man, it's it's, it's crazy right here. It's crazy. Like, I think I us, what, I think what? us being different eth- ethnics or however you want to fucking say it, I think it makes our bond stronger. Me and yours personally. Mm, yeah, yeah. I because we we are very yeah, you know, di- like, we're very diverse. Yeah, we, we hang out with anyone. Like but yet, but yet we bond. We had like that's another thing I was thinking yeah, about because yeah. we we knew we were gonna do this podcast today, but I've been thinking about it all night. And when I made that, me too. I made uh, that thumbnail for it, and I was like, damn, that's really racist. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> like. <laughs> It uh, is. Like, Nobody talks know. about it. Um, For real. Because you know, I have, I have to say, it's like I definitely do feel like around here, I'm treated different, especially with the cops too. Like I used to get pulled over all the time, just usually for speeding. But every time, or even, but even I just be pulled over sometimes for nothing. Like really? For, for absolutely nothing. Well, I know every time we would be with you in that fucking. They always have an attitude with me too. That okay, race, yeah, yeah but look, you kind of brought some of that on yourself, doing what you did in that race car, revving your fucking engine, and going through tunnels and shit. Twice. Yeah, but every time I rode with you, you were like pedal to the fucking floor. You're like, oh, listen, a tunnel, I gotta rev it. Listen to that ZZ yeah. fucking turbo, and I'm like, oh my god, like this is why you get pulled over. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. But I also got pulled over that old blue Buick. DWB, yeah. Yep. For real. real. That it's bullshit. More, that the cops just thought is, it was like a, you know, like, it's just stereotypical. Oh, there's a stereotypical black dude. Tell, tell like, people what DW mean, you know, like, DWB means. They probably don't know. Yeah, drive them all black. Yeah, drive them all black. And it's real. sad to say that because it's sad to say that. 
to but me, the, I, I probably get it less than my other black friends. Like, my other black friends, like, I've had my other black friends been in the car, that they almost went to jail for doing nothing. That's crazy. You know I mean? Like, just because they were black in a small town, you know what I mean? And I if people want to deny that, and they don't think that's real and stuff like it that. It is real. And they're, you need to open your eyes. They're this, ignorant. This crazy. Like, they're so ignorant. many black people have been killed by this police just because, like, of nothing. Like, I know, you know, some people, I mean, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to speak for everybody, you know what I mean? Like, there right. are people who are doing bad stuff. There are people, guys who are pulling their guns out and stuff like that. But it's like, also, it's like, I've heard a lot of black people being killed just innocently, you know what I mean? And it's sad, bro, because it's fucked we're, up. We're, we're treated different. Yeah, it's fucked it's up. For sure, man. I go, out, I go out with my girl, and I'll just get, like, stared at sometimes. Like, I feel because she's I white? Go white town, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's yeah. fucked up too. Well, I, I always, I always try. I always tell Kevin, set me up with some black women. You know, I need some dark chocolate in my life. Fuck it. Not now. I got a girlfriend now. I got a girlfriend now. But I'm saying back in the day, I always was hooking up Kevin with women. All my white women. Wait, he, we walk in a room. He'd be like, where are the white women? You know what I'm saying? It would be crazy. <laughs> On to the next thing, um, the thumbnail. Like, how long ago was that? I, I actually, like, I, I, I say they, they didn't teach, like, black history in schools. Like, no, they didn't, school, and like, I think that's wrong. I think that's wrong. That's our way of apologizing. I mean, I mean, yeah. now, I wouldn't say apologizing, but that, the only way to not repeat something is to teach something about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. You don't want history um, to repeat itself. because uh, This is the thing that pisses me off about slavery. Not just black people were slaves. White people were slaves. Who built the pyramid? The Jews. Right. Yeah, so if you right. want to get technical, white exactly. people were slaves first. Right. We should, we should, exactly. We were just speaking about black, you know, black and white. And, no, no, no. You know what I'm uh, saying, though? Racism before, but... No, yeah, for but, real. I mean, that's... Think about the Civil War and shit. It wasn't really fought over slavery. That's what they taught people it was over. It was really about gold. Right. You never heard of that? Did you hear, right. Have you heard about that? Yep. It was really about gold, yeah. but they needed a reason to fight the war, so they picked slavery. I right. mean, right. more power to them. They shouldn't be doing that stuff. Slavery is wrong anyways and minds. You know how I feel in about anyway, it. Yeah, yeah you know. Wrong. You, you, know, what I mean? you like, know that's wrong in my eyes, but... But most yeah, people don't want to talk man, about man, it. Man. Yeah, nobody yeah. wants to talk about this shit. Because they got their fucking pussy in the knot. They don't want to offend somebody. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Offend them. Yeah, I don't yeah, give a that's, fuck. That's another thing. Yeah, man. You got to... Yeah, dude. You gotta speak Rip the fucking right scab right off and talk that. about it. Exactly. Yeah, you got to stand up for what you believe in, man. Or, or you, you won't be standing for nothing. It's rather... Yeah, you better stand something than not stand something. No, I'm you saying know, if we true. didn't talk about it... People could judge you for not having an opinion, e even. Mm -hmm. How are yeah, you supposed yeah. to get over something if you don't talk about it? You just bury it under the dirt, you know? You can't, yeah, exactly. You can't ever no, truly no. move on unless you talk about stuff. And let. Yeah, and then, uh, I'm telling you, though, uh, sorry for interrupting, but, uh, no, you're good. Celine, up near kind of where we live, I don't know, it's kind of near Ann Arbor or whatever, but there was this dude, um, this Mexican guy, uh, he, he was, um, his, his there was, a, there were, they were experiencing racism in Celine schools or whatever. And they had a pro, uh, like a, like a parent teacher, like conference thing, or like it was the news was on it and stuff like that. It was actually pretty big. Um, and, uh, they, um, this guy got up to talk and he was like, uh, he's like, why don't you go back to Mexico or something like that? Oh. Like, Man, people just think they can say whatever they want. You know, I mean, you can say whatever you want, but listen. But yeah, exactly. Have respect. He should have respect not to say it. Like, if it's just if it's just the boys and we just hanging out, sure, I might get a little racist. But it's all in a funny way. It's not. No, no, I'm being honest. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not to dog them. It's to be. That's just how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad to say. Yeah, yeah. If they cool with it, like you, you're not cool with it. I don't do that shit with you. You know what I'm saying? But. If I have right, some right, friends, right. I it's do. Like also with you, John. You know, yeah, exactly. I mean, you call me Cracker and shit. I don't give a fuck. It's just a name. It doesn't offend me. I love crackers. Right. I love you crackers are, with you cheese. Are. You are. No, I can be a dumb redneck yeah. cracker. You know that. Tell them a story about when we first met and how I was. Rebel flag, fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I
Yeah. And you just stopped all that. Because it's not... Suddenly. I mean, I didn't stop it. I still believe in it. I don't believe in racism and shit, but I believe... My See, this is the thing. People that act like they're heritage, I'm from the South, blah, 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 they ain't, they ain't really about that. I don't have to look the part to be the part. I am the fucking part. You can just tell when I speak. Yeah, right. And when you look at me, I'm about what I say. But also, you, but also, so you speak pretty... Pretty, pretty good and well man. You have a well mannered, you know what I mean. That's stereotype to think that that if I didn't, I'm from the south though. In my opinion, that's stereotype. Yeah, right. I agree. But I mean, I don't care. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right though. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. I'm like. But no, I'd be watching. You know, I'd like, be watching TV shows, bro, and they'd be like, just because this guy got a do rag on and shit, they pull him over, like you were saying, like, like that's his culture. Oh, yeah, that's his culture that's though. A do rag is to somebody's caught like that's yeah, how you dude, get yeah, waves and shit. Like, um, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I know you do. Yeah, exactly. I know. It's like an oven. And it's like it's, but if you were out in public wearing it, dude. Oh like, yeah, you get like, hate. You get like, so like, much like, hate. Especially, yeah. What's up, thug? Like, what's up, gangster? Like, like, yeah, but what's the difference like, between a biker? All. Listen, what's the difference between a biker wearing one and you wearing dude, one? Dude, dude, that is a that is one of the best examples I've ever heard for this thing. Because I'm like, dude. There ain't no like, difference in my mind. You no, can't change no, my mind. You could be sitting, you could be walking into a store, okay? That that teller is going to see the biker with the, the bandana on. But yep. you see the, the, the black guy with the bandana, or not a bandana, um, a do rag. Right. It's like, whatever you want to What are you going to think? You know what I mean? Yeah, there needs to be more social experience or experiments and stuff like that with that. You know what I mean? Actually, separate. Oh, for people. real? Oh, hell yeah. I totally yeah. agree. That's the thing, though, like, I didn't even, I mean, obviously I know you're a different color and I'm a different color, but it, that doesn't, I don't see it as that. I see it as just, right. I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, people say, well, you know, how can you stand having a black friend? It's like, I don't see him as black. I see him as equal because it's me. A black friend, man? You've heard that before, what? Yeah, you know, you know who I'm talking about that says that shit. How do, how do white people, how do white people? Act when black people aren't around. Are they more racist? It depends on the person. Like me, I'm. I'll, I'll say whatever uh, I want any time. I don't give a shit. If I want to be racist, I'll be racist. Right, yeah, that's John. If you got something to say, All I'll right. beat your ass. I don't give a fuck. In more general, I'm gonna say, I, I'm gonna say a white person wouldn't say something to your face. Let's just say that because they're vindictive, unless they're like white hate that type of shit or. You know what I'm saying, like. Right, right. But like the average person, like also, I would. Also, like. Go ahead. Sorry. No, go the ahead. No, go ahead. The, I just think the average uh, person ain't gonna be racist uh, to you. They're gonna say it behind your back. Yeah, that's messed up. Oh yeah, it's fucked up. But what about black people? It's like, man. What I mean. No, sometimes, but not. As Listen, much this as, is the thing, though. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, there's black people that don't like white people. For the sure. KKK, like black, white people the KKK is for is hating black people or whatever. Let's say okay, but the the uh, the Black Panthers is the same thing for white people. Can you agree on that? Kinda, in my eyes, that's how I view it. Hmm. It's like a protest of my protest. You know what I'm saying? Like Jordan Lucas says, "What kind of shit is that?" I just yeah, it's messed up. It is, it is. The thing it's about it is you. I know it's fucked. Dude. It's like man. And if we would just put away our differences, we could get along. I mean, not me and you. I'm saying other people. That's what I'm saying too. I'm like man. I wish people were just better people. Cause look how many yeah. times we hang out and you, you know, get looked. Yeah, yeah. I can get a little. <laughs> but just, it's just I can get it's. Rude. I can be rude. Yeah, like, but yeah, it's like, just, why, like why am I like that? You know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's how we're hardwired, you know. I know it sucks, man. It'd be nice to put everybody. I mean, I got a couple screws know. loose up here. You know that I get sometimes I get pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, <it's not> <laughs> crazy I ain't gonna lie. I'm honest. I don't give a shit. You know. What do you mean? Conceal. You know, Native American. You know. 
Yeah, that like, shit's fucked up. See, it's not just yeah. black and white racism, though. Racism. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is racism. It's just, in, it's just in general. And listen, look at, listen to the names, though. The names is what cracks me up. People have so much time on their hands to make derogatory slang or whatever you want to call that shit. And... I Okay, you want to know something? This... Listen, I'm... I'm all right. Black people to black people can say, you know that word, what I'm saying. But when a white person yeah. says it, yeah. they get mad. Because like Jonas Luker said, or whatever his name is, that we made that to put you down or whatever. I don't think of it like uh, that, though. Somebody like me, yeah. my my family, had n- I have nothing to do with slavery. Right. I'm like third generation. You know, I don't even know how long ago that was. I have nothing to do right. with it. It's still going on. No, no, no. No, I'm saying like... Uh, Full blown out slavery uh, shit. I had nothing to do with that, yeah. so I don't understand when people. Oh, he's just a typical white boy. Like, I don't. I, I don't understand when people say that shit. Like, I have nothing to do with slavery. It's, it's crazy, dude. I don't know why. I don't know why people even. Uh, it's just a mess. <laughs> like, it really is, man. And that song uh, by Junior Lucas, dude. I really like that when that came out. Dude, me too. I still listen. What song is that called again? Um, shit. I'm Not Racist. I'm Not Racist I'm not by Joyner Lucas. Look that shit up if you haven't, guys. That shit is a good-ass song. Yeah. I like it because um, it shows his... Is, no matter what color you are, wear one of these sometimes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> M- M95 like Mask. Amen. What's that? Amen. M95 Mask. You know it's a law now. You have to wear one in public in Michigan. You can get fined up to five hundred dollars. Yeah, All right. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like, so. Like these are strong ones. Really so let me ask you this. I know this. I don't think this has anything to do with slavery or racism or nothing. But when we first met each other, we knew each other. We bonded before anything. Then oh, we. Yeah, dude, you're the first person I ever met in that school. Came the first day, first like hour. I know, and I was like, "Hey, you can." Back. I was like, "Hey, you can sit here." You didn't even know where to sit, or no? I did know, I? I was nervous sitting in the back, bro. Mr. Like, uh, what was his? Like, what was his name? Mr. Loveless's no, class. Dude, no, dude, you were my mom's first hour class, and we you came over. You had your blue phone. You used to text Tegan on. Ooh. Ooh. Like, uh, 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 Fuck it. I didn't know where to sit either. I was like, this guy looks good enough. Like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what am, I, what am I supposed to think? Just because you're black, don't sit next to you? No, I don't roll like that. I didn't give a fuck. Dude, Some great. people at that school probably thought like that, though. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, God, yeah. And, oh, it, and it's wrong. You yeah, know? Man, it really is. And there was Asian people, too. There was Ger- German students. Jan? Jan? Yeah. There's people from... Thailand, I like, sent him this like, the other day. I sent him Hail Hitler the other day on Snapchat. Wait, what, what, did he respond? Yeah, he just said, ha ha. He's like, funny American. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's, he's I was like, cool. what a bitch. I was like, I hate him sometimes. He don't even respond right. I know. It's like, what? Or he'll like, he'll cuss at me in German. I can tell he's cussing at me. <laughs> Just yeah. to be funny, you know what I'm saying? Just to be funny, it's like... Yeah. It's like See, yeah. we have that type of relationship, though. Like, everybody, we all of our friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, most people, they would judge us on how how we treat each other. But that's just how we are. Yeah, exactly. We just mess around. Yeah, we just mess yeah. around. Like... For real. <laughs> but, well, hey, yo, let's wrap this one up. I think we're going to actually record another pod. All right, let's do it. Yeah, do. All right, let's do, uh, it's your boy Big Juicy. Yeah. Remember, always stay juicy. There you go. Go follow the yeah, homies channel. Stay juicy. Stay juicy. Stay juicy. <laughs> no stay, just juice. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. <laughs> go follow the homies yeah, channel, yeah. Kev Blaze Two. All right. Yep. All right, yes, peace. Sir. All right.